Um, so thank you and uh, thank you for invitation and for opportunity to be there in this nice workshop. Um, the title of my talk, Degrees of Autostability Relative to Stronger Sectorizations of Structures of Finance Signature. And uh, first of all, I want to give some agreements and some main definitions. So uh, our signatures are computable and the domains of all our structures contain the nomica. We also identify formulas with their Gödel numbers and when we talk about computable structures, we mean that their atomic diagram is computable. It means that we can effectively determine whether a first order formula without quantifier is true on the elements from the domain or not. And uh, one of the direction of computable structure theory is the research of complexity <laughs> of uh, uh, the isomorphism between two copies of structures in which we are interested in. And um, um, oh, just, just between two copies of structures. And uh, uh, one of interesting object is uh, structures that we can say that they are stable. It means that uh, when we consider two copies in which we are interested in, uh, there exists a computable isomorphism between them. Or we may uh, talk about destable structures if uh, we want uh, to find such for decomputable isomorphism. And uh, uh, when we're talking about computable copies of computable structures, it is uh, autostability. So uh, Ruslan, uh, Ruslan uh, the previous speaker, already uh, gave us these definitions, but uh, there was coffee break, so I, I will repeat them. <laughs> Uh, let D be a Turing degree, uh, then a computable structure is D autostable if for any two uh, computable copies of it uh, there exists a decidable or there exists a, a decomputable isomorphism between them. And such structures are also called, called uh, decomputably categorical. And uh, Fokina, Kalimulin and Miller in 2010 introduced the notion of uh, autostability spectrum. Autostability spectrum of a structure is uh, the set of all such Turing degrees D uh, that uh, the structure is D autostable. And uh, if we can find the least degree in this spectrum, if it, if it exists, uh, then we call this degree the degree of autostability. <laughs> And also, instead of uh, computable structures, we may consider <coughs> decidable structures. And uh, uh, talking about autostability. And the structure is decidable if its complete <coughs> diagram is decidable. It means that uh, now you can effectively determine whether first order uh, formula is uh, true on the elements from the structure or not. Now you have quantifiers. And a decidable structure is called uh, deautostable relative to strong constructivization, so was the last time. Uh, if every two decidable copies of M are decomputably isomorphic. And uh, such structures are also called de decidably categorical. And for the further talk, instead of uh, de autostable relative to strong constructivizations, I will say just DSC autostable. And uh, if uh, D is equal to zero, such structures that, uh, are called just autostable structures. And actually there exists a, a very nice criteria for autostable structures. Uh, this criteria shows us connections between some theoretical model properties of structure and autostability. And um, in particular, it shows that uh, uh, structure should be almost prime model to be autostable. And uh, before uh, I will say this criteria, I want to give some definitions. Uh, TH of M denotes the first order theory of M, and uh, a structure M is a prime model of its theory if it is elementary embeddable into any other structure of the theory. And the structure is uh, uh, an almost prime model if uh, there exists a finite type tuple of elements from the domain such that the enrichment of model with these elements is almost, is prime model. And also we need to, to know what is complete formula. First order formula psi of bar x is complete formula. 
uh, for the theory of a structure M if uh, uh, M models for all bar X, bar X, uh, psi of bar X, and uh, exec, uh, for every sigma formula, exec, exactly one uh, is true. Either M models for all X uh, psi of X implies phi of X, or uh, uh, M models for roll X uh, psi of X implies the negation of phi of X. Uh, this criteria was proved by Nurtazin in 1974, and uh, it shows, uh, it tells us that, um, fo following, suppose that M is a decidable uh, structure of a signature sigma. M is a theater stable if and only if uh, there exists a finite tuple of elements from the domain such that the following holds. First, uh, the structure with the enrichment of this element is a prime model of, its, uh, of the enrichment theory. And uh, given a sigma with uh, this tuple of elements formula psi of x, one can effectively determine uh, uniformly psi, uh, whether it's complete formula or not. So um, this criteria for a sea of the stable structures and Gencherov in uh, 2011 uh, relativized this criteria for DAC to stable structures, but only in one side. Uh, so now uh, you have some Turing degree, and uh, model is the structure is decidable, and uh, uh, you need to have uh, some finite tuple of elements from the domain such that, uh, again, the enrichment of model with these elements is prime model. Uh, but now uh, you need uh, the condition or use decomputability of complete formulas. And when it uh, uh, happens, uh, then the model is DSC autostable. In particular, if M is a decidable almost prime model, uh, then M is a C auto stable for some computable enumerable degree C. Uh, so uh, as uh, as uh, uh, it was done for computable structures, uh, Goncharov investigated auto stability spectrum for decidable structures. Auto stability spectrum. <coughs> A spectrum of a theater stability. And now you can uh, just instead of, um, uh, so now uh, it's uh, the set of all degrees D such that uh, structure is D as theater stable. And uh, again, uh, the least degree from the spectrum uh, called the degree of a theater stability, if it exists. Uh, so, um, what can we uh, discuss here? First, the examples of a theater stability spectrum, and uh, in particular, the examples of a theater stability, uh, these degrees of a theater stability. And then we, uh, we can talk about relations between two spectrums, between a stability spectrums and a theater stability spectrums. And uh, another direction is uh, which of the stability spectrums can be witnessed by uh, structures of familiar classes like lattices, graphs, and so on. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> most of results belongs to Nikolai Bezhenov, and uh, recently I uh, joined to this uh, area of research. And the, but the first result was uh, proved by Sergei Kincherov that every computable enumerable degree D is the degree of a CO2 stability of some decidable almost prime model. And uh, actually, I will uh, speak about this result more uh, further. Uh, then in 2016, uh, uh, Nikolai shows that for every computable ordinal alpha, uh, the Turing degree zero to alpha is a degree of a CO2 stability for some decidable Boolean algebra. And also he shows that uh, for a computable ordinal alpha, uh, every Turing degree, which is CE in and above zero to the alpha plus one, is the degree of a CO2 stability for some decidable structure, but now of the infinite signature. Um, let me um, recall that uh, Turing degree is called PA degree, if and 
uh, compute some complete uh, extension of piano arithmetics. And in 2016, Nikolai shows that there exists a decidable structure M, such that M is a prime model of uh, the infinite signature, and the series of stability spectrum of, a, of M contains precisely the PI degrees. And it uh, also follows that such structure has no degree of a series of stability. Because there are not uh, least degree in PA degrees. So what? Uh, so now let's talk about relations between spectrums. What easy result can we uh, get? If uh, M decidable structure, then uh, spectrum of autostability lays in spectrum of a C autostability, just because every uh, decidable structure is computable. And if uh, zero lays in a uh, spectrum of autostability, then zero to the omega lays in a C autostability spectrum of quantifiers. And uh, also, it is easy to show that uh, if you have some decidable structure, you may construct some computable structure, such that a uh, spectrum of autostability of uh, Computable structure is equal to the SC spectrum uh, for decidable structure. You just take the structure and uh, make it computable. You put all the formulas into signature. Um, you have special predicates for each formula. Um, then, in 2016, we work uh, on autostability spectrum for prime Boolean algebras, and as corollaries, we obtain some results for uh, spectrum of a C autostability. Uh, first, uh, suppose that uh, alpha is uh, um, greater or equal than zero, less or equal than beta, and beta is less or equal than omega. Then there exists a decidable structure M, such that zero to the alpha is the degree of a C autostability of M, and zero to the beta is the degree of autostability of M. And uh, the second result was obtained using the result of Nikolai about uh, the structure that has no degree of a C autostability. Suppose that uh, beta is uh, uh, greater or equal than zero and less or equal than omega, there exists a decidable structure M, such that M uh, has no degree of a CS stability, and zero to the beta is the degree of autostability of M. So uh, it follows that we have a uh, two situation. We, we know that Such situation is possible talking about connections between spectrums. And such situation is possible. So uh, natural to ask, uh, uh, can we uh, construct such stru structure that it's, it doesn't matter, that it will be such situation. So uh, the first problem, does uh, exist a decidable structure that has a degree of a C autostability and has no degree of autostability? And more general question, is every autostability spectrum the C autostability spectrum? And in particular, is every degree of autostability a degree of a C autostability? So let's talk about familiar classes. In 2016, uh, Nikolai shows that uh, for infinite computable ordinal beta, every Turing degree, which is CE in and above zero to the two beta plus one, is the degree of a C stability for some discrete linear order, orders. Uh, so uh, let's come back to the result of uh, Sergei Goncharov. Uh, he shows that uh, if D is C degree, then there exists a decidable structure of signature of uh, infinitely many unary predicates, such that M is prime model first, then D is the degree of a C stability, and every computable copy of M is decidable. 
So uh, this was for signature sigma one. And uh, we construct the effective transformation of computable structures of the signature sigma one into computable structures of finite signature and ensure that uh, this transformation preserves the K properties such as decidability, SEO to stability, and so on. And then we get uh, this result for a structure of finite signature. So uh, how this coding looks like first, some words about uh, Goncharov construction. Um, there was a model and the signature contains uh, only unary predicates. And the theory of model has uh, the following properties. Uh, for each predicate or the elements which satisfies uh, this predicate uh, not satisfies to any other predicate. Or or your uh, predicate divided into parts by two other predicates and then never divided into, th these predicates will, will never divide into some parts. So the complete formula is uh, these predicates or these predicates. Or you may, maybe it is easy to think that it's a uh, uh, conjunction of these two predicates. So, uh, how uh, we construct the coding. First, about the domain. We want to construct some new structure. Uh, we put the domain of the old structure here, and additionally, two computable sets. Uh, the signature will be, it will be sigma one, sigma two, uh, following. There, there will be one you, uh, binary predicate, one, another binary predicate, predicate uh, which defines this set, and predicate which device this, defines this set. And also some constant. Because constant is not a problem, it could be changed by predicate. So, uh, this predicate is a, a graph of a computable successor function. Uh, of computable successor function, which is uh, defined on this set. And it looks, and th uh, this constant is the first element. So you have this constant, and then you have your uh, successor function. And uh, I will uh, write like uh, this for the following elements. But this uh, not constants, it's just uh, the successor of uh, the C0 and so on. Uh, so this is S, S1, and uh, this relation is defined by this uh, binary predicate. Uh, then, I, then I want to code uh, uh, these predicates in uh, my new model. Uh, I, but I have uh, the domain from the previous model and I, I will uh, do it the next way. I will, uh, I will consider only degrees of uh, two, but it's some technique detail. The idea is follows. Uh, first you take a uh, predicate R0, and then uh, you connect all the elements which satisfies R0 uh, with the constant 
C1. And you will do it by your uh, second binary predicate. And uh, if it uh, turns out that the predicate R0 will never divide it in two parts, uh, then you will have an infinite chain of elements this infinite chain. It's uh, all also by defined by predicate uh, R. And uh, these elements, like additional elements, you take from this set. And so on. Uh, when, uh, but uh, uh, on the next step, if you are working with R1, you have one additional element between the elements from M and between the constant. And then, uh, if uh, this uh, predicate will not divide it anymore, then you also have infinite chain. Uh, and uh, for uh, R i, you will have i additional elements. And if it turns out that on uh, some step of the construction, this predicate will be divided in two parts, but predicates are L and L, L plus one, you just uh, divide this set and uh, connect them with uh, the appropriate constants. So here, this will be R L L. This will be R L plus one. So this will be length L. This will be length N plus one. So this is the coding. <laughs> because uh, uh, this uh, uh, dividing was depends on the enumeration of a countably numerable set. And then you have the same picture, but all your signature is uh, uh, your signature is finite. Uh, so uh, then uh, we use ideas of Goncharov to construct a transformation from finite signature to the signature of a computable directed graph, just to, to, to the graph. And then we show that. Uh, uh, this uh, theorem satisfies, uh, uh, th this theorem works for graphs. And uh, also, uh, when you have graphs, you can uh, use uh, some standard coding of direct graph into structures of non-trivial signature and obtain this result for uh, structures of non-trivial signature. And so uh, I may say that this is a result about familiar classes. And as I know, uh, uh, Nikolai Bezhenov and the Melnikov Alexander works on the uh, problem to obtain this result for uh, abelian periodic groups. Uh, but you know, uh, it seems to be harder, <laughs> but um, uh, when uh, we obtain this result, is you, we just take some particular uh, spectrum and uh, make it realized into graph. And it uh, will be much nicer if uh, we will, if we, if we could uh, just uh, uh, construct some universal coding, not not to take every time some particular results and uh, to create every time some new coding. So uh, the natural problem is, uh, can we uh, do something uh, uh, as in the article of Hirschfeld, Hussein, of Shortslinkov 2002. 
So let K be one of the familiar classes, uh, like directed graphs, partial ordering, lattices, groups, fields, and so on. And suppose that M is a decidable structure. Does there always exist a decidable structure from class K such that uh, this structure from class K has uh, the same uh, asserted stability spectrum as our structure? And uh, also I have some announcement. Uh, it's, it's too about, it's about familiar classes. Um, as you can notice, most of results uh, which I uh, give in preview, uh, they were obtained for uh, infinite signature. And for P degrees too. So a nice result that there exists a decidable undirected graph uh, such that uh, this graph is prime model of its theory and the co to stability spectrum of this graph contains precisely the PI degrees. And um, uh, this result uh, uh, seems to be true and uh, it uh, does not use coding from the construction of Nikolai Bajenov to the directed graph. It's just some new construction which have or you, you take already graphs. And uh, the, the game is uh, on uh, that property that PA degree should separate uh, effectively inseparable uh, disjoint pairs of countably enumerable sets. So, so, so we have construction. It, uh, uh, we need to check everything carefully just. So that's all. Thank you so much for your attention. Maybe it was. <laughs> Of course it is, <laughs> of course. Oh, yes, I, I think so, yes. No, the difference was that you need not to take one construction and code it in, into another construction. You can just directly uh, construct the graph. Thank you.